Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. Well, what do you know? This is what we need more of. This is an example of what we need to start doing. So, what you have here is there's a town hall but, uh, that happened last month. Uh, I know I'm kind of late to this, but. I'm just trying to give you an example of what we need when it comes to this thing about ADOS and the fight for reparations and uh, a black agenda um, for our community. Uh, if we're going to try to fight for an agenda, we need to start doing things like other than uh, um, like do town hall meetings to get our people alert and prepared for a for a uh, opportunity to um, get our agenda across so there's this town um, hall there was this town hall that happened that happened hold on, it doesn't really say where it happened So basically what you have here was an organization um, that they said, right, the article says here that it was a ADOS town hall calls for a multi-trillion dollar reparations program and a new agenda for black America. After decades of relentless political indifferences, reparations for slavery has finally arrived at the forefront of national American poll politics, particularly every 2020 Democrat presidential candidate has embraced the concept in to some degree, yet majority of them do not want reparations. I think maybe one or two might consider doing something involving reparations, but Majority of them have tried to walk away from it. Many of them attended Al Sharon's National Action Network. But yeah, they're not fighting hard enough for reparations. They just convinced in April and promised to sign HR 40. Yeah, they say they promised, but they're going to keep the word. HR if elected. However, many black Americans remain concerned, rightfully so, as to how substantial the candidates' plan for reparations are truly are. Are candidates making reparations a real priority, or, ha or has the term merely become the latest buzzword guaranteed to garner applause on a debate show? It's correct. That is absolutely correct. You notice that half of those debates that have a couple of those debates that recently just happened, they barely talked about the subject. I May mean, I think only one politician wanted to get into the subject, and that I think it was Miriam Williams. To discuss the topic more correctly within the African American community, representatives of ADOS which stands for American Descendants of Slaves, hosted a town hall on Saturday, August 10th at Linmar Park's Hot and Cools Cafe. Since it was founded in 2006 by Breaking Brown's host, Vet Carnell and attorney Antonio Moore, that's Tone Talk, by the way. For those of you who don't know, that's the guy who, uh, YouTube channel, or goes also goes by Tone Talk. The ADOS movement has strived for social and economic equality by placing African American identity and lineage front and center. The Blossom Grassroots movement has embraced conceptives, comperceptives, and centers. The Blossom Grassroots movement has embraced. Oh, sorry, I wrote that. Uh, I already wrote that part. Um, reparative 
justice as the only solution to widespread racial inequality and most notably America's mass racial red crap at it. And that's why we need reparations. Reparations can help fix problems like the wealth gap in this country. With because unfortunately the black Americans are at the very bottom. We are far behind when it comes to finance. That's why I see like to talk about black businesses being developed and being financed and supported. The town hall was moderated by actress Vanessa Williams, who said she was proud to shed light on issues plaguing the black community. Williams introduced the first speaker, Chris Logan, a Sacramento re representative and Northern California or ADOS organize, uh, organizer. Logsdon opened his presentation with the video from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in which the iconic civil rights activist draws a connection between government providing economic support for white Americans and the financial plight of black Americans. The clip ends with this famous quote, Now when we come to Washington in this campaign, we're coming to get our check. Also, that, that, that's good. I remember that clip. Now, also, do you notice that a lot of media tries to tries to hide that clip, but people manage to find it on the internet? That's when Mark Luther King, because Mark Luther King, he actually was fighting for reparations. Uh, I believe between 1966 and then his unfortunate death in 1968, he was actually, he realized, he started fighting against, the, not only was he fighting against the war, he was fighting for economic equality for the black community. See, they try to, uh, and, and yes, he did fight for, try to fight for reparations. And they said that that was also one of the reasons why Martin Luther King was unfortunately killed. You see, they, they only want you to think of Martin Luther King as his speech from 1963. Nope. He was more than that. So yeah, when they say think like King, be like King, well, we are being like King when we're asking for reparations. Cause he wanted it too. In fact, there was a few civil rights leaders, even if they were immigrants, that still wanted black Americans to have reparations. That clip logged in said illustrated the core of the ADOS movement which is to demand that the federal government take up an agenda to um sp uh, sp specify specifically address the loss African Americans have suffered due to the um, institution of slavery and its enduring legacy throughout American history. Logsdon then went on and speak about the importance of wealth, a dollar amount indicating the indi um, individual's debt con um, subtract from their assets and that legacy wealth, he said, is the most conquistional factor in your life and the best measures of your ec economic wealth being and the best indicator of structural racism. Most importantly, he added, it is the best way to measure the cum cumulative effect of the full trajectory of harms thrust upon black Americans. Yes, racism plays a part of why we have hor um, bad economic situations. Alright, this is an individual who was part of this is Vanessa Williams. Uh this was one of the people moderators of the Q and A session and that happened when it came to that this town hall meeting. Uh this is Chris Logden, a community and this is the ADOS community organization. I'm just now just showing the pictures. Um th I'm just looking at these bits and pieces of the rest of our call. See, this is a town hall that, all right, 
we need to be unapologetically and forthright in our demands, he said. The ADOS movement is open to... I was just picking pieces of the article. Um, open to allyship with the other rep underrepresented community, but only the conditions that it will not compromise its term. I guess let's talk about... Um, See, see, these people have been doing this town hall meeting. See, this is what we need more of in the black community. We need more of these town hall meetings. Uh, we need to, as, as ADOS, we need to organize more of these town hall meetings. I'm not going to really read this entire article, but... What I'm saying is, this is the example of what these two are doing. This is what more people in our community need to do, at least in our fight to help get our, get us reparations. We need more of these type of town halls, and we need and more of us. Well, look, it even says here how much we want in reparations from five trillion to ten trillion. I even expect a lot more, maybe hundred trillion. But, and then all of this, he says here that they also want loans to reserve for ADOS business and forgiveness of all ADOS student loans. See, yes, that's, um, the, see, the, 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 the money from the reparations can help with students with student loan debt, help businesses, services, and stuff like that. Um, buying of land should be another thing. That the, these ADOS meetings should also talking about how to get more land, ownership, house, own, um, home, and business development. So, yeah, I'm glad that these people are doing things like this. So, like I said, we need more of these town halls, or we need to go to the town halls of certain politicians and put pressure on politicians to demand that we get reparations but yeah all I gotta say is congratulations to these individuals for doing this town hall last month hopefully more of these town halls will continue I will leave the link to this article in the description box and comment section I'm not gonna read the whole thing but y'all can read the whole thing and maybe do your own commentaries or read them at your own time um, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description box and comment section. Um, that's all I got to say. Make sure you like and share this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit that notification. But that's all I have to say. This is J Dog. Thank you for watching, and I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.